Today, we will do a case study where we will design and develop an IP camera system on fiber network. Let's consider the case where we have to install IP cameras in an area which is several kilometers away from the control room. We will design a network on fiber cable from camera location up to the control room where the video storage will be maintained along with the live display of all the cameras. Let's check how we will do this. Before we proceed, I request you to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification icon, like, comment and share. First we review the architecture at the camera location. Let's consider a four camera setup. All the cameras are connected to the PoE network switch with CAT6 cables as shown. A 100M level 2 PoE switch with Giga uplink port is the recommended specification for the switch. The switch will be placed inside a rack fitted with fan for ventilation and a power distribution unit. So the bill of quantity here is IP cameras, four numbers, PoE switch, one number, rack, one number, CAT6 cable with PVC conduit as per actual measurements, RJ45 connectors, eight numbers. Next we check the control room. Here we require a minimum of four channels network video recorder with sufficient capacity of surveillance hard disk for storage. A monitor is connected to the recorder via SDMI cable. A gigabit non-PoE network switch is recommended to establish the network between control room and the camera side. A CAT6 UTP patch cord is required to connect the NVR to the switch and a UPS is suggested for power backup. Finally, a floor top rack with PDU is suggested for placement of recorder and other equipments. So the bill of quantity for the control room is Network video recorder 1 number Hard disk drive 1 number Monitor 1 number SDMI cable 1 number CAT6 patch cord 1 number Switch one number, UPS, one number, and rack, one number. So we have reviewed the architectures both at the camera location and at the control room and what all the equipments are required at both these locations. Next we will design the network between these two locations. As the distance is in kilometers, we will consider laying optical fiber cable for connectivity. So at the camera end we will convert the CAT6 electrical signals into the fiber signal which are then carried over fiber cable network up to the control room. And at the control room we will again have to convert the fiber signal back to the CAT6 electrical signals. Let's see how this will be done. First, we review the components that will be used to create the fiber network. The very first in the list is media converter. A media converter converts electrical signals used in CAT6 copper cables into light waves for optical fiber cable transmission. It has two ports as you can see a LAN port and a fiber port. At the LAN port you can connect CAT6 cable and on the fiber port you can take out fiber cable and vice versa. Then we have line interface unit or LIU. So what is LIU? During fiber installation we need to join two fibers together permanently. LIU is the enclosure which houses the spliced fibers and provides protection to the joint. Number of ports in the LIU 
depends upon the number of fibers used. LIU comes in various denominations like 6 ports, 12 ports, 24 ports and so on. Inside the LIU is the patch panel on which couplers or adapters are mounted. A loaded LIU means it is ready with couplers already mounted on the patch panel. Pigtail as shown has a connector on one end and bare fiber on the other end. This is used to make joints inside the LIU. Fiber patch cord has connectors on both the ends. It will be required to make connections between LIU and the media converter. Let's see how we will make connections inside LIU. Here we have 6 ports LIU which is loaded means adapters are pre-mounted on the patch panel. As you can see on the screen incoming fiber is spliced to the bare end of the pigtail. The other end of the pigtail with connector is inserted into the coupler or adapter mounted on the patch panel. At the rear end of the coupler we attach a fiber patch cord which will be used to make connections to the switch via media converter. So having learnt about the various components of the fiber network, let's join them together to shape the final network. At the camera end, we have three major components that are to be put together to form the network. They are PoE switch, media converter and LIU. CAT6 patch cord from the switch uplink port is connected to the LAN port of media converter and the fiber port of the converter is connected to the LIU via fiber patch cord. So the final bill of quantity for the camera location is cameras 4 number, PoE switch 1 number, rack 1 number, RJ45 connectors 8 numbers, CAT6 cable in PVC conduit as per actual measurements, media converter 1 number, LIU 1 number, CAT6 patch cord 1 number, fiber patch cord 1 number and pigtail as per the fiber connections in LIU. Next, let's move on to check the connections at the control room. PoE switch uplink port is connected to the LAN port of media converter with CAT6 patch cord. Fiber port of the converter is connected to the LIU with the help of fiber patch cord. So the final bill of quantity for the control room is network video recorder 1 number, hard disk drive 1 number, monitor 1 number, HDMI cable 1 number, CAT6 patch cord 2 numbers, switch 1 number, UPS 1 number, rack 1 number, media converter 1 number, LIU fully loaded 1 number, fiber patch cord 1 number and the pigtail as per the fiber connections in LIU. So here we have architectures ready for both camera side and the control room. Finally run and splice the fiber cable to connect both the LIUs at both the ends. And we are done.